So for this challenge, we've got two golf clubs. We've got a chipping club and our putter. So just off the edge of the green, got our six balls. What we're going to try and do is hit our chip shot and then walk up and do our putt and record the results. So how many times from an easy situation just from the edge of the green can we get the ball onto the green and hold the putt? So really focusing on a nice narrow stance, gripping down, leaning to the green, really keeping that those wrists out of the equation. Nice pendulum action, really committing, keeping that head nice and still and getting through to the finish position before we turn and look. Just grabbed into the grass that one, so I've got to be, that's better, felt much better. So now I step to the ball, try and copy what I've done in my practice. Just gonna trickle down. So personal preference here, I always take my glove off when I'm putting. I'm gonna go through the same routine I'd go through if I was on the golf course in a competition. Again, a few of you be leaving the flag stick in. I'm uh, used to taking them out, so I'm gonna take this one out. But go through the routine again, you go through. So I'm gonna mark the ball, give it a nice clean. Take your time with reading the putt. Give this all the attention you'd give it. If it was the 18th hole in a competition, you knew you needed to get up and down to win the competition. So happy with that little practice. There's a little break from the right edge. Hit it on that right edge and stayed there, but dropped in that right edge. So that's going to be one. I count that. Put that flag back in. So we go through, have this discipline. If you want to make it easy to keep your score, just pop the ball on the left for the ones you manage, on the right behind you, maybe that you don't manage to get up and down. So even if you don't get your chip right, have a little go at the putt. Even if it is a long putt you've left yourself, go through this routine and record your result. So the second challenge for chipping, we're going to make it harder. You're going to give yourself a difficult lie, possibly on a down slope or an up slope. Uh, not a lot of green to work with or the flag further away. Choose your club that you're confident with. You may need to chip and run. Think about the slopes, how they're going to affect the loft. Tilt your shoulders as well with the slope. It's a down slope. So we can get that nice contact through the grass or up slope again. Get a nice brush on the grass on your practice swing. Give you a lot of confidence going to the ball. Again, so six easy, six more difficult. Record your numbers. It's definitely going to improve your confidence when you're playing the 